Ladies and gentlemen, the Adult Baby Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 101. I am B. I'm Chick. And I'm Chris. What's up, guys? <laughs> the world this is exploding. This is going to be the last episode <laughs> yeah, it's over. before the world ends. It's canceled. We made it to 100. We made it to 101. And now we're quarantined. And now the world is over. Could you imagine we were quarantined in this basement? Oh my God. Just, if I any, would endlessly recording a podcast. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Listen, I, I was trying my hardest to not have anything about the corona really be touched on. In the Me podcast, too. we didn't touch on it. Until we didn't touch we, on it last week. Like I, I, I just was going to try to avoid it because everyone's talking about it. But it's got to the point <laughs> have to talk where you it. have no choice. <laughs> yeah, because we're, it's affecting everything. This podcast now. is a state of emergency. We're in this. We're in New York, the state of emergency, New York. Yeah, and we're not allowed to be in what groups of five hundred or more. Five hundred or more, and if it's a group of five hundred or under, it has to be in a thousand person capacity building. So that it's only at half. So capacity. there's not so there's like plenty of space, space for everybody. <laughs> space. Yeah. Listen, everyone gets their bubble. There's, uh, I've seen some because I, you know, I'm home a lot right now. Yeah. So I've been. You're reading. never more in a space of uh, less than. Four. I'm in the I'm in the best quarantine spot of my life right now. <laughs> just, I'm self quarantining. Oh, yeah. that's why. Yeah, that's that's what I just tell <laughs> everyone right now. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm just I'm home from work for the coronavirus. Yeah. But um, everything's. Get, I mean everything. Is being canceled and suspended. Yes. The NCAA tournament yes. canceled. NBA basketball postponed for a minimum of a month. Baseball postponed. NHL postponed. Champions League soccer, League soccer. Champions League soccer just got postponed. Adult Babies podcast still, still kicking. Still kicking. <laughs> Come on. Schools are closing. Universities are closing. A lot of closing. We, we don't have to list them no, all. No, I'm just saying. It. It's just Everything's like, canceled, though, really. Every, like, life is canceled. They just shut yes. down Broadway today, too. On Broadway. Oh yeah, that's right. Bo- yeah. Broadway is it's dark. Over. I saw. Done. It went dark. Um, yeah, there's everything's a, there's over. There's a 30 day travel ban, but B is. So what's let's let's talk about all you right. because so, I've been breaking B's chops all day, telling him that he's an idiot for even entertaining his vacation. So I have a a, a vacation booked next week, West Coast. I have two shows booked. You know how hard it is to get booked on these LA shows. <laughs> I had to send my. Like an idiot, I am sending my videotape to people, to producers. I'm like, hey, look at me. Would you would you think that this kind of comedy would be good for your club? <laughs> and uh, like like a, it's the worst. It's, I just feel like such a, a an idiot doing that. And I got some responses. I got but see. Booked. That's why you shouldn't feel that. I, I actually I'm happy that you did that. Yeah. Because normally you wouldn't. No, I always. Whenever I go away, do you? I, when, you always say you don't like to. I don't like to, but I. I mean, it, right? with comedy, I do. But every time I go away, I get booked on an out of town show. Has Neil's advice struck you at all? Is that why you're doing any of this, or no? Like I've been in, doing this in for three years. No, but I mean, like really, because you were. You always said that he's kind of the, a rare case. Of, what do you mean? Like self promoting to get on shows and stuff. Uh, yeah, but that's different. That's that, that's. I'm I'm talking about emailing, like finding emails of bookers oh, okay. and of shows. And I do I do not in New York because I do it by I I'll get booked by word of mouth hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, but like if I'm at it, like last year I got Portland. Okay. I just reach out to to bookers and shows. Fair enough. So I I've been doing that, but uh. Yeah, so it's hard to get booked on these things. You know, I'm very lucky to get booked on these shows. No, you are. So to cancel it is just... And my plan was go to L.A., spend four days in L.A., then I was going to this little place in Joshua Tree called Pioneer Town, spending a night there, and then I was going to meet my buddy in Vegas, finish out the the weekend in Vegas to watch the uh, NCAA... The tournament that got canceled? Yeah. Like, that didn't even get suspended. That, that just they, over. They, they yeah, flat over. out canceled it. So that, that suck for Hofstra? They finally make the oh, dance? Oh, yeah. I didn't even think <laughs> about that. You know that. what? Like, I I, I, listen. You're right. Hofstra finally makes That's the sad. dance. Like, it's been years since I think they made it last. Nope. And even prior <laughs> to that, it's been like, they finally win. And then tournament gets canceled. There's going to be, like, coronavirus curses now on sports teams. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they're never gonna. Oh, you got never, that Corona curse. Yeah, you, you made it the, the year Utah, of the Corona. Utah that Jazz it. will never win another Dude, championship the, again. The Can we get into that? Who touched yeah. all yeah. the microphones like an I know. Rudy Gobert yeah. in the beginning of the week when he was, I guess he had some symptoms, but I don't know if it really showed yet. But he was just mocking the panic that everybody had for it. Yeah, 
and he touched all the microphones <laughs> and recording equipment on this interview. Oh, man. The other rumor is that in the locker room, he was playing around he with everybody, touching everyone's shit, touching everybody's shit yeah. and touching everything. Two days after that, gets diagnosed with Corona, yeah. and now the star player on their team, That's Donovan the French Mitchell, for you. That's the French. Has Corona. What an the fucking asshole, God, man. He actually came out and apologized. Like I was careless. You know, yeah. oh, that's good. You can never be too careful. You know, you really and and it sucks. Nobody thought it was gonna. I didn't definitely yeah. didn't think it was gonna get like this. Can I tell you one thing? Like, please. I, <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody could see the body language you just gave me. <clears throat> oh no, he's Jesus, coughing. He's no, got it. This is. Can I tell everybody? <laughs> I got it. No, you you got it? because of my shitty it? lungs. Yes, I'm a little nervous back You've talked. talked I know. No, I'm saying I'm a, I'm a little nervous, but I'm not in full panic mode. Everybody in this full panic mode makes me sick, and even the people who are on the other end of that who don't think anything of it also make me sick. So you, you He's are just uh, sick. No, I think it's a, you, a, a you're serious. Even Steven. I'm, I think it's a serious issue. That everybody needs to be alert about and, you know, wash your hands and stay away and, and, you know, do the things they're suggesting. But I think the crazy panic of people who are just like fighting over toilet paper in the stores. I'm more nervous about the panic than the virus. And that's and to me, that's almost worse than the actual virus. Yes, because it's. There's just things that shit like I don't know. We're like one shutdown away from people looting a supermarket. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, we are. Yeah. Know, like, that Would you kind loot? Of shit freaks me out. Would I loot? Would you loot? I can't. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. Yeah, I like to say I. I like yeah. to say I wouldn't loot. But if I need something, I wouldn't be the first wave of looter. But yes, it's like, that's it. Yeah. I don't if it think got bad, if it got bad. I wouldn't water. be the guy who starts the looting. Right. But I might. And I wouldn't take like a TV. Yeah, I would. What take, would you take? Like water. Like water. shit that you need. Like well, water's not going to be there. Well, depends how early you get in on that looting. <laughs> that depends on how early you get in on the looting. I'll drink the flavored water. That's fine. But dude. doesn't this almost seem like a movie to you guys? It does. Like the beginning of it Walking seems like Dead. The, the, like the part of the movie that they kind of just brush over. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The beginning that's like <laughs> yes. the yeah, sketch the of the disease. And then they get to like the action where people are just left on a roof. Right. Like, <laughs> like help. Uh, and that makes me think too that like I always said in an apocalyptic scenario, I don't stand a chance. No. I'm and not by the way, a, I'm not, not a survival us, guy. It's not, not just us. your lungs that are bad. No, <laughs> listen, I'm not a survival guy. No, you you're not surviving in in, in a healthy in world. Society. <laughs> no, I mean I am, but I'm saying like I'm not going to be the guy out there who's going to kill a fish and start the fire and you know, I'm not walking dead the guy who's going to make it to the no, end. No, definitely you not. You didn't start the fire. Or I'm no. the guy who's the asshole who everybody wants to die and he just manages to stick he into the stick around. To yeah. Stick around to the end. Yeah, we eat you for your meat on day <laughs> 10. Like, uh, all right. They start I'm hungry. He's got to go. He's got to go. Uh, also, he, uh, he hasn't stopped talking about Whatever you movies, so, yeah, <laughs> movies. So let's just chop them up and eat. I can't them. believe it on Netflix anymore. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. If they cancel any sort of cable vision, I'll be very, uh, very upset. Yeah, that would really, that would grind you. your. That's gears. where it really, like, right now, I could deal with the sports because I have all my shows, yes. and movies. It's like, oh no, we can't go out. In reality, <laughs> your life really hasn't changed all that much, right? It's not drastic. <laughs> It's not much. It's not it's almost cr- like the world at is at this adapting point to your in my lifestyle. life. It's not a drastic change. Are you for at least me. like washing your hands more. Oh, I wash my hands. Like your... I've always been like that. Okay. That's why this stuff I, like know, this. Yeah. I am an OCD guy like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'd be lying if I said I'm completely like oh this. But I don't get those people either who think this is no. Just think it's all a ploy. Right. Yeah. Italy's shut down. China's a mess. Dude, they shut down a country. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know how crazy that is? Like, this isn't no big deal. Like, it's it's a real, it's a situation. It's a and situation. it's something that everybody needs to pay attention to. We just gotta... Well, and I was talking to someone today. They're like, well, it's only like 2% die, right? No. But think about, even if it is 2%, think about how many fucking people that is. Somebody put up a post <laughs> this, to this point, and this is why I, I'm cutting you off, is because they said... Four, uh, what was it? Forty-three million, whatever the number was. Millions of people get the flu, and I forget the number of deaths. And it's like only five hundred people or whatever have this and X amount of deaths. So they were like, 
you know, a lot more people die from the flu. But the person said, so if the same number of people had this than the coronavirus, we'd have two and a half million deaths. Yeah, yeah. They're right. Yeah, I read something. Like so that I too. was like, that's a lot of fucking. You're not people. proving any point. You're pr- yeah. the death rate of this is more serious, ser- serious. It is severe. And, <laughs> it is very and higher than the flu. It's just it. Well, and that's why the incubation it's so period is crazy trying- too. To stop, to contain it. Yeah. Because well, if bothers, everyone gets this shit, oh, I know. Fuck. Well, what bothers me is the testing. We don't have any testing no here. Testing. Well, that's why this is so crazy. The fear of the unknown, there's no testing. There's no treatment. Well, our numbers would be so much higher if we had any testing kits here. Yeah, that's, like, that's the, what they're either. saying. There would be, a, if people, if there was testing and we actually knew the number of people who have it, it would be it would be much more alarming. The, the the governor of Ohio came out like a little while ago and said, based on the people we have with these symptoms in hospitals, and not we can't test them, but based on the people we have, we think a hundred thousand people have it in Ohio. Now, I mean, some of that's going to be the flu, but even if it's like half of that is coronavirus, that's like so many people. It is a lot of people, <laughs> and you know what it is like. Yes, maybe it won't affect you, Chris, but if you get it and you give it to someone like B, who, yeah. whose immune system maybe isn't as strong. Would you feel bad that you murdered me? I feel me? horrible. Well, yeah. that's my point. So the people who don't care about this and say, oh, I'll be fine, yeah, but the person next to you might not be. Yeah. So you can't be selfish in that regard. True. Um, Tom Hanks has it. Tom Hanks yeah, has it. Tom that Hanks. hit me hard. I love Tom Hanks. I know, if Tom too. Hanks dies, that would really. Suck. Did you see Tom Hanks' son? His his. Uh, Colin his, Hanks. Yeah. No. Chet. Chet Hanks. Yeah. What's up? Wait. With that there's guy? another one. I th- I only know. Colin. You don't know Chet oh Hayes? Oh God! Look him up. Chet Hayes. He's a rapper. He posted a video like. In Wait. No is this? Shirt. You're not fucking with me? No. I am stunned. You don't know this. Chet Hayes is Tom Hanks' son, and he's a rapper. Yes. And oftentimes he speaks in Jamaican. How do you not know? What? I'm sorry. I've oh, never heard come this. On, man. I need to he, look. Uh, this is something I'm going to immediately look oh, up Oh, you're going to have this. to. So he, his response, his, <laughs> it, he, he's been doing this Jamaican accent for a while. What with the blood clot? And, and now his parents are there and he put out a, uh, a Twitter video and he's shirtless and he's back to, uh, you know, speaking American? like a, a white guy. Full covered in tattoos. Full covered. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, my parents, uh, they got the virus, but, you know, they ain't tripping. <laughs> 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 he's the greatest. He's he's he's, he's a great. he's an actor. Is, is Tom Hanks uh, proud of his son? Do you, you ever hear any <laughs> interviews with yeah, him? Yeah, he's super proud of him. No, but I'm. You know what I mean. He's, like he's Colin's proud of doing Colin. his thing. <laughs> Colin's doing his thing. Chet's doing his thing too, man. But is that something? Chet's that a you player think, in the game. Do you think somebody like Tom Hanks looks at Chet and is like, "What the fuck did I do wrong?" I'm sure. I'm sure Tom Hanks and his wife have had talks. Like, wow, what do you? What is it? But. Tom Hanks is an artist, and uh, and well, he's that's the other probably part. like you know what he's it expressing is what it himself. Is. Yeah, do you think because himself. they're actors? Yeah, there's more of that. Like probably it's just what he wants to do. Yeah, like, let him rock. Yeah, it we is don't need the money. Let him rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly, he's <laughs> fine. It's not it like he's gonna starve. Thing though, there's that a, is great. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, definitely look that up. Um, but as for my my California trip, I think I'm canceling. Do you? Yeah, it's so the everything. Here's the thing: if I go. Everything's going to be closed down. There's going to be a lot of stuff closed, so you may not be able to do a lot that you want to. Yeah, so it's like, what's the point? And it, the Vegas thing is already, they, they canceled the March Madness. That's so the reason why I was no going. no point to go there. I'm not yeah. a Vegas guy, so what am I going to do there? What do you think about getting stuck there? Is that any of the reason? Like, do you, do you get nervous that, let's say you go there, right? And then there's a, a more severe travel ban where they don't even want people in airports. Or you... Get tested there, and they quarantine you there. Yeah, and then you're stuck there for three stuck. weeks, two weeks, whatever it is. Like, part does that play that, into it at all, or is it mo- mainly just the lack of? Part of the idea of being stuck there kind of excites me. I, would, yeah, I, gonna gonna I kind of like that. But then I'm like, with no, f- I don't. You, you, out of all people, that doesn't. I think you would want to in this situation. You're a family guy. Who are you kidding? Yeah. You wouldn't want to be away from your family if you're sick with the coronavirus. That's true. That's true. If you I'm out sick, of all people, if I'm sick, I would want, I would want to be here. Yeah. So, just so I have people to complain to. Exactly. But complain to. Can and you just, believe this virus? If can I'm, you believe? What's the deal what's with the, the coronavirus? Deal? By the way, this morning I went up to my mom and I'm, and and she's like, "Hey, what's going on?" I'm like, "I'm just waiting." And she goes, w- w- "Waiting for what?" I'm like, "Waiting for the virus to get me because it's going to get me." <laughs> One way or another. That's what I and I can I tell you I feel like the same thing. I feel like I'm it's a waiting game and we're I, all I think we're all gonna we're get all gonna it. we're all gonna be affected in some way. I'm nervous. 
You look nervous. Because my lungs. I feel like I'm not going to. I'm going to be the, the lungs, guy. Man. Be right. I smoke a lot. Well, maybe this stop. is a time for you to. <laughs> stop. Yeah, but here's my thing. Like, I do want to stop. And even if I stop today. But why stop now? The world is going down, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the other thing. If I'm going down, I'm not going down sober. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're all just going to get it. Do you think everybody's going to get it? I think a lot of people are. I think I. I, I know somebody who works in a hospital people. who's got the flu right now, and they're in the process of being tested. Name names. That's another no, problem I can't. I won't name is names. The test takes like two or three days. Yeah, because they have to mail it out. Yeah, because there's only like one way to find out if you really have yeah, it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I think we haven't even reached the uh, the breaking point of this. So. In what regard, though? What do you think? Though? I don't think we're even at its worst. This is just. Oh no! Beginning. Yeah. Do you so. think they'll shut down like the subway and stuff? They're going to have to. If the whole thing is to keep people away from each other, those are like the breeding grounds for fucking germs and fucking all that shit. It is. It's just a great... To see what's going to happen the next couple weeks is honestly going to be fucking kind of crazy. Yeah, and just for some context, we're recording this on Thursday, the day after... Trump gave his speech, and yeah, um, and everybody and, canceled everything. And the day so, today, everything's been getting canceled. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so this might be this podcast might be a little behind. But like I said, I'm probably going to cancel now. So maybe we didn't even well, have to do this podcast. Probably didn't. Um, we could just release it. Then. But yeah, we could release it. We as could a, just release it as an extra state of emergency. State of emergency <laughs> episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. The more I think, about, I think it's just not going to work for me in L.A. Now I saw time. you put that post up, and I voted. Yeah, you're losing the vote as of now. Get out of here. I voted no. Uh, let's you I, voted no I did because I wouldn't cancel the trip. But then when he when I got here, he explained that they closed the comedy store and that I didn't realize they have like a ban on events over 250 people there. Yeah, yeah. that's like it's 75 percent. No. And 25 percent. You're the only one that said yes, chick. But yeah, the more I think about it is just I'm going to be in a ghost town and I'm like, the only one who cares about your health. Yeah, sure. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of comedians that are saying to go. go. But listen, if the comedy store is closed from what I heard, then Flappers and Burbank is going to be closed. Uh, yeah, yeah I know? would imagine. I would imagine. I would imagine once one goes, especially the big one, they're all going to follow suit. Yeah. So just the fact that like if I do go, then it's like a waste of a trip You'll because be sitting I'm in a hotel room. Yeah. Yeah, you're not even going to be able to really enjoy I'm it like gonna, you wouldn't want to. Even if I do like go out and do stuff, it's always going to be in the back of my mind. Yeah, and yeah. you could always reschedule. It's not like yeah. you'd never be able to go back. You know, hopefully the world doesn't end. But, yeah, if, the, if we bounce out of this, you'll be able to I'll go back. I'll tell you what, though. I will be steamed if I get the coronavirus stuck at home in this damn basement and didn't take the risk to go out there. Oh, you That's mean like... That's why it, I would go. It would suck. I'm like, wow, if I was so going to get it... So your reasoning is... What if I get a mild case of it and I'm here? I'm like, ah, I'm kind of sick. I got a little bit of a cough. And uh, it's one of those things where, yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. Once you get something and you, you know the repercussions, take the risk. exactly, it's not worth it. Exa- it's not worth the potential of bad things that could happen. Yeah. So you can't uh, look at it that way. Like you got sick here. You, like I guess you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like you did the smart thing, and if unfortunately you're supposed to get it, you're gonna get it. By the way, I've been doing. I've, I've gone up on stage the last couple of nights. Every comedian is doing Corona uh, jokes. Oh, I would imagine every single one. Do you have one? Mic? Yes, of course. <laughs> Mine is basically the gist of it is, uh, if I got coronavirus, I had a good run. It was good. I did some cool things. I'm more. If I get it, I'll be embarrassed if I get it because it makes the news. You know? Yeah. Like you, can't... guy in Farmingdale would yeah, be exactly. one of us. <laughs> local comedian. Quarantine. Local a, comedian in I'm Farmingdale. Like, I will never get booked again. And then I, I, I talk about, like, there's a teacher. You know, but a teacher gets it on Long Island. They shut down the school. You think that teacher is going to be able to bounce back from that? She's always going to be known as the lady with coronavirus. Do you th- See, this is what I was going to say. I, I Do you think anybody who gets it, is everyone just going to stay away from them longer than they have to? I don't oh, think, probably. I don't <laughs> think they'll, I, they'll, for a certain amount of time, but they'll always be known. And the way... I, I wrap my little joke up about this or is <laughs> I say that in middle school there was a French teacher that apparently had six toes and everybody talked about that. The one with uh who gave out the um she gave out those little those uh chewy candies, the, yes. uh, those great fucking things. Yeah, I think that what was her name? I forget. Oh, but, that fat fucking bitch. But but I six toe. 
But I, she had something with toe. Maybe she had an extra toe or something like that. So my point is, like, if that teacher comes back with the knowing that she had the coronavirus, kids for years will always talk. Oh, that's you have Mrs. So and so. She that's had the, one the corona. She had the corona. Like, she, that's always going to be on her resume. And whoever gets it, because it makes the news. It's embarrassing. It'll be embarrassing to get it. I think that but now so many people it. are going to get it that, it, it'll that be it's a, not right. really. But my thing is, like, so my buddy it'll and be his like wife, the first wave who are getting, like, tested right now. Well, she's getting tested because she works in the hospitals. Yeah. I was like, just so you know, the standard quarantine period is two weeks. I quadruple that. So if your wife has it, I won't see you. Minimal two months. Yeah. That might be, that might be overkill. <laughs> that sounds like an excuse. You think they're happy with someone. that? No. Like they're actually, getting a break from I you? I told them that, and she said, that's not going to happen because we'll miss you. Oh, uh, that's nice to this say. This is good but friends in reality. Uh, no, but so, you know. One of us gets it. Did we continue the podcast? No. Did we talk about yeah, this we last just, week? we build a bubble. No, we do it without that person, yeah, no, and we course. talk about that person having And it. talk about that person, yeah. All right. Yeah. I will not be near either one of you if you get it. Right. We do it over Zoom. Zoom. No, Zoom. I don't even want to be... You don't even want... I don't even want to The communicate audio with file's you. coming back. <laughs> yeah, no. Can I, I catch it through audio? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, well, that's where we're at, I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, it's crazy times, fellas. Crazy times. It is crazy. <laughs> Um, I also, I saw a great tweet though from Rudy about Rudy Gobert was saying that, uh, he said, if you didn't think he was going to get defensive player of the year now, I saw he's that. definitely going to now because he shut down the whole league yeah. or something like that. <laughs> That's, that was a great tweet. <laughs> that was fantastic. Awesome. But what else? I mean, do you guys have anything else going on? Or it's we... only been like two days since I saw you. That's what I'm saying. This so is the other reason. I did, the, the show I did last night, there was a lady sitting in the front row with uh she had her eyes were both going opposite directions a little distracting i wish they would put I would, those people I would in imagine the back, you so know? and uh she was the other thing like she was drinking nothing but white russians the entire night Ugh. like like downing white russians and where was this only, this was uh, it's a, at a local a open mic or something no no it was a show but I, oh okay but uh it was uh it was interesting and it it kind of threw Threw me off the entire because when somebody with an ailment like that is right in front, it's hard to concentrate. Hard not to look at them. It's hard not to yeah. and wonder what she's looking at. You know, she's looking at me or the <laughs> the door. So, so there's th there something on back there. Yeah. I gotta... <laughs> so that's all. That's that's the only thing I ran. And then I I, I got a uh, an Uber. I, I I I went into an Uber, <clears throat> and I get into this Uber and it was full of lights. Blue lights. The guy had lights. For, it was a suburban. He had he had lights like Christmas lights from the front to the back, and then he had a game attached. Uh, to, he's like, you could play the game for free and all this stuff. And he had hand sanitizers. And he was a nice guy. Get into a conversation. I'm like, what's with the lights, man? People must love this. And he, of course, he's like, oh, I've been featured everywhere. I've been on Barstool. I've been oh, on so and so. Uh, and we get we get talking. He's like, he's like, just last week I had three hockey players in here. Picked them up from a public airport. Uh, they were jerks, you know. One guy was nice. Give me the whole rundown of everybody, and uh, and then he gets into the tipping situation. Oh no! Here's my thing. Don't with, talk about a tip. Don't, with don't who has to tip tell you me. right after. If you tell me, if you tell me that you need to be tipped, guess what? You don't get tipped by me. I don't like you to tell me what I'm supposed to do. So this guy, and and they always do it. And I've seen signs in Uber like, please tip. I'll tip if I feel like it, okay? I don't need you to tell me to tip. It actually makes me want to tip you less. And even the please give a five-star thing, have you seen? Like, yeah. Have you don't get things? five yeah, stars. you're getting four. You ask for it, you don't get it. Yeah. That's how I roll, at least. And you guys are assholes. Maybe no, so. I'll still give Maybe a five, so. But um, you can't ask for a tip. I don't like the asking of a tip. And he's telling I me about- I get it, asking, like, if I ask you. But if there's a sign on there that says, like, tips are appreciated or- That's fine. That doesn't bother I, me. It did. It kind of bothers me, but everything bothers you. Uh, but the asking though is I just don't like how they bring it up in conversation, where like this guy he's got all these blue lights in his car. He's like he's got all the bells and whistles. I'm like this is cool, and then now I didn't need that though. Yeah, and I'm like I didn't ask for it, but then he's like you know I go out of my way to have all these fancy things in the car, and I'm like first of all it's giving me a headache, so I like I I don't like all the lights, and uh, and now he's he's putting. 
into my head that he's saying other people. He's like, I just don't get why people, you know, I do all this stuff for them and they uh, and they don't tip me. I'm not going to tip you either. I don't like being told what to do. Yeah, I'm with that. I mean, I don't like when they try to bring it up in conversation. I like, feel like it's been brought up in every I feel like ride. they want to ride somewhere. They're not lot. looking for entertainment. Yes. Not just that, but even like regular Uber drivers that don't have all the craziness going on, they'll bring up in conversation like, yeah, you know, this is mostly a tip based job. Yes. You know, it's like, well, because it's right, something buddy, that I, people you're driving me three minutes. But it's so. to me, that's like any service industry. You wouldn't never not tip a waiter or a you waitress wouldn't. because it's known. So this is a new business. People don't realize that they should be tipping. They don't make money off affairs. They make more. They do make money off affairs. Make- not a lot. They make majority of their money off of fucking tips. When I did Uber, I made my majority off of the fare. They, they make a good chunk off the fare. You don't... Okay. You will make more on the fare than you do on tipping. It's not like waitressing, where okay. they have a... Like, you know, you, you as as long as you're going f- to a decent place. But it's but, also like if your waiter came over and was like, hey, how about that tip? That's right. You know, like... It's understood, but no. maybe chick, you're right. You have, maybe it's, it's a not new understood. business. People don't understand the, I guess, the common courtesies that you're supposed right. to, to okay. deal with it. All right, All right, that's fair. I can, I can. I, that's that's valid. I just don't like. I don't the, do it, so I don't really know. I, I mean, just don't yeah. like the in my face of the in the conversation. Like you said, Chris, a waiter doesn't bring you out your chicken and be like, you know, <laughs> I yeah. brought it all the way from the kitchen. I'm doing the last a lot guy for didn't you even tip here. me. I'm like, all right, well, good. It yeah. just bothers me that he does so much in his car, and then he expects because you went above and beyond. Like, yeah. they just want to ride. Right. It's dude. like, right, wait, did I order this car or just any car? Any ride. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> yeah, ride. Yeah. Any ride. Can I sit in this back up. seat? The I'm same sorry, day? I don't remember ordering the fun car. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get to my destination. <laughs> exactly. Please. I don't need you to make me feel. Oh, this guy's got a nice car. I should tip him more. Fuck yeah. you. I had a horrible Uber ride in Florida. Did you? Yeah, from the from the airport to the hotel I was staying at. This guy was um older man, uh, retired down to Florida, and just as red, white, and blue Trump as you can get, but imposed it during the ride. Politics shouldn't be brought shouldn't up Shouldn't be brought the ride. up in an Uber, right? Did you not like him just because he voted for Trump? No. I didn't like him because he brought it up to me 28 times during the ride. <laughs> what did he say? I got to hear this. Well, first of all, I told him where I was flying from. He's like, so where are you coming in from? I'm like, New York. He's like, oh, with all those fucking liberals? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> That's aggressive. That is. That is aggressive. That's aggressive for an Uber ride. I'm in this car for 30 minutes. Right? And he doesn't know if you're a liberal or not. Yeah, and just like, I would never. I wouldn't either. I would, oh, you're from Florida with all those fucking conservatives? Like, oh, what a swing state. I would, <laughs> I would never. Could you no, I, I <laughs> listen, horrible. I think that guy's and so an idiot he brought too it up, saying it. He brought it up a bunch and you'd be like, and Trump's doing this and Trump's doing this. I'm like, how about the radio? Can we put, Can on, we the put on the radio? Can we put on the radio? Yes. Of, Put on the radio. That was we don't need to talk about One of about the few times that I've is ever annoying. not given five stars, yeah. and I left a comment. Like, What'd you say? No, I said, you should really stop talking politics with passengers. Like, It's very oh, uncomfortable. Man. He's probably like, these <laughs> liberals. <laughs> I'm fucking liberal. I can't I, even talk I about Trump. never, like, car covered in bumper stickers, like with oh. Hillary Clinton with crosshairs and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. That's not the right profession. Like, that's that's not the right. Yeah, that guy shouldn't be driving around the public. Yeah. Just... I don't know. But that's my other thing. In well, this state of emergency that we're in now, yeah. I wouldn't even let anybody in my car. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, I fuck you. If that's affecting like the Uber. Well, they I heard one industry. Uber driver's in like a full fucking like, a outbreak <laughs> fucking <laughs> hazmat suit. He'll get a tip from me. But you're still letting them in your car. Yeah. True. Nothing like, helps. I don't want anybody like I, I just don't trust the public. So why would you let some filthy fucking person in your car? You're right. Yeah, I, I'm with you. To me, my first thing is you're a filthy person. Hey, when you're right, you you're right. to me that you're not. Yeah. When you're right, you're right. Especially, like, in an Uber coming from the airport and shit. Like, oh, you don't know where they're coming from. That stagnant air from a plane. Yeah. Yeah. All those cross-contamination. Gross. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other. You're going to be it's stuck in happening. a plane, a small quarters. Yeah, it's not, you know, I, I was looking forward. I kept looking at the plane seating, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to be able to really spread <laughs> out on this one. I'm the only one on this flight. It's me like, and the, the pilot. I'm like, this is going to be a great flight. Maybe he'll let me sit in the front. Yeah, you'll be in the cockpit <laughs> for this ride. <laughs> but that's uh, to let him fly the plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, the God, pilots are not pl- flying. If you want, you can still take the plane. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so I think it's settled. I'm not going to go. I think you <laughs> made your mind up in the midst of this conversation. Yeah, I did. I did. Because I've been watching your demeanor, and you're like <laughs> half here. No, I'm definitely, yeah. Listen, I know you're here and you want to do it, but you're not... I could just tell. There's a lot going on in that head yes, of yours. Yes, right there is now. a lot going on. Like I'm, it's it's I'm written pissed. all over. No, and I and I, I don't I would blame be you. Be pissed. I'm not judging you. I'm not. I'm just saying. Like it's written on I your face. I booked two shows. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Monica and Burbank. Come on, baby. They're about to call me Mr. West Coast, and now it's over. You want to know what's now even I'm a Long Island I was comic? Gonna be Mr. West. I was going to be Mr. West Coast. By the way, I didn't tell you this. I plan on getting a tattoo when I was down there. No, oh, you weren't. What yeah. was it going to be? Eh, I still might do it, so it'll be a surprise. All right. It's not going to be adult baby's tattoo. I promise you that. But uh, <laughs> I was planning on getting a tattoo. Nah, that would have been cool. Um, Did, were you going to go to like a specific shop? Yeah, I had a couple places, like good places out there. But yeah, it is what it is. You know, dreams sometimes crash. Sometimes. And my dream crashed. It's just like when well, it's am I? Well, a good thing your plane didn't crash. That's true. That but at this point, too. we're all going down Let anyway. It. Yeah. Let it. Chick, you have any picks for us? <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? I really have nothing to say. I really honestly, just, I'm just pissed. This was a short. You guys want to just cut it and release? Well, no, it today? we could. We're going to release yeah. it today. This is just going to be a state of the emergency episode because bees. Obviously, we're going to be able to do our normal episodes. Yeah. And we did this thinking that we weren't going to be able to put it, so we can make yeah. this a little short. It's yeah. a little, a little give me a, a little, little extra, a little extra for the for you weekend guys. while you're quarantined. Listen to the adult baby. Do you want to know something? Babies. No, I don't Actually, have I don't. any Let's fresh picks, but I do want to say, in light of this, yeah, Outbreak is on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Great movie. Okay. I watched it the other day. I haven't seen that. I would also recommend you watching Contagion. By the way, I you have a problem with <laughs> with your with your fingers. You've done this before, so you've only named two, but you have three <laughs> fingers. Because I was about to go on the third. Yeah, but on the second. The th the third finger popped up too. <laughs> now we've run into this before. I think when you weren't here, he was doing the countdown and he put his five fingers up and then he went five, four, and then like like got <laughs> messed up with his finger. Like he doesn't have, he's not good with his fingers with the counting. God, you need to stay away from the virus, man. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> outbreak. <clears throat> A lot of Con coughing by you, Contagion, by the way. Contagion, because my lungs, this is why I can't get the corona. I'm dead if I get it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. if, I, if you guys hear I get the corona, pray for me, because I'm going <laughs> to die. Okay. And that's going to be how chick goes. Everyone, like, if he thinks of all this other stuff, and it's going to be coronavirus. Could you imagine? How embarrassing. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. He's coughing an <laughs> awful <laughs> lot. We should wrap this up, seriously. <laughs> if you get it, and it spreads... Like I don't. Oh man, I will be so <laughs> pissed at you. If I'm the one who if got you're you. the one, if I, if you yelled at me to, you're an idiot if you don't cancel this trip, and then you come to my home and cough all over the microphone and give me the virus. <laughs> oh, buddy, it's over. It's over. Me and Taylor will start our own podcast. I'll leave you too, Chris. You'll be done as well. Oh I'm, my I'll leave God. all of you. Oh, all right. B is so mad right I will, now. I will smash this. <laughs> fucking shatter all the mugs. I'll shatter all the mugs. I'll take down all the stickers. So uh, the other one was the, st <laughs> <laughs> the Stand by Stephen King. It's five, six hours long. It's a four-part series. No, I'm not picking is this. Is it scary? I watched it, and it was I never heard of it or seen it before, and I heard it's like, oh, it's about a flu that, whatever. It's very similar circumstances. Why do people want to watch this at a time of crisis? See, like to me, I think this is when you do watch it. I watched Outbreak now because of it. Like, okay. I feel like you got to watch things that are relevant to the time you're living in. All right. Uh, but The Stand was atrocious. <laughs> yeah, just to get you guys. Yeah. Well, you're, you know, you do have that one thing going for you that you're not out in the public, so that helps. <laughs> It does, does it not? It I mean, I'm helps. in the public. I was in New Hyde Park today. I was, you know. That's I, right. You were late for the podcast doing something else. But um, <laughs> for the most part, you're, you're you know, quarantined. So I think you'll be all right. I yeah, don't. You got those bad lungs. And, you were you an know. early adapter with the self-quarantining, though. So. He was. Like quarantine. He saw this coming. I've been quarantining since fucking November. <laughs> yeah. I saw you. Saw I this saw coming this coming. I, I knew it. That's uh, why I let my, I let I my job go. I told you, but I forgot. But I saw it. <laughs> well, 
Guys, if you want to come uh, next Tuesday, St. Patrick's Day, I'll be at Alibi. Can I tell you what you're reminding me this? Uh, What? The greatest thing that the coronavirus has done is I hopefully put a damper on St. Patty's Day and that nobody's out. They canceled the parade. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. I am so happy that St. Patrick's Day is officially ruined. Yeah. I mean. Because all you fucking amateur drunks and, oh, my God, you all make me sick on St. Patty's um, Day. Every one a, of you. I am a, I am a hardcore Irishman. I, I love my Irish pride. But, uh, yeah, you, I it's agree. Much. St. Patrick's Day is a little too much for me. Yeah. It's amateur hour. And, I'll yeah, the a, people I'll who like drinking. I'll have a couple drinking, Guinnesses. And, and, I was say. and uh, That's fine. But it's know, the people who, my... everybody's Irish. Let's all drink and I be obnoxious that. and be obsessive. I do love, like, a St. Patrick's Day party, though, where there's corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage sucks. Oh, it's delicious. I like corned beef. That's it. Well, you I should, don't even you eat should the have cabbage. It. My mom makes it delicious. Try with some cabbage. I'll eat your mother's some corned mustard. beef. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, guys, let's wrap this podcast up. P doesn't want me talking about his mother like nah, that I don't, at all. I don't like where that went. He um, doesn't like how that sounded at all. <laughs> and on that note. Guys, if you made it this far. Everybody, wash your hands. Be safe. Don't over panic, but panic, be conscious. panic a little. No, but be conscious. Be health savvy, health conscious, and uh, coming from the beacon of health that is shit. <laughs> and if you have it, don't stay the fuck home. Don't be that. Don't even listen E-man to us. If you, you know have what? It. I think I think uh, you probably convinced a few people if they have it to stay home. <laughs> um, I fucking hate you. I, I, I hate you because I, I don't like what you coming in here with with that cough. <laughs> It's my smoker's hey, cough that I always lungs. have. Those bad lungs. This is my normal cough. Oh, God, it's brutal. It's How terrible. am I going to tell the difference between a corona cough and my normal cough? You're not. You're just going to drop That's that my point. Day. I think I'm just going <laughs> to die from No, you that. have a fever. Yeah. No, there'll be other stuff. Do you there'll always have a fever, symptoms. though, generally? Too? I don't know. I just I heard feel something like... about sputum. I don't really know what that is. That no, what spit? is that? I think it's like spit. Oh. Is there sputum coming out of you? No, it's something like sputum. a dry cough. But then you see something, and it's like, well, that was wrong. So you don't know what to yeah, believe. They don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. Yeah. You know what I think the cure is? Listening to the Adult Babies podcast, guys. Yep. That's the cure that's for That's the everybody. cure, everybody. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for tuning in thanks. on this uh, moment of crisis. Our State of the Union address here. <laughs> this is our State <laughs> of the Union. Jesus Christ. Have a good one, Three everybody. Three bumbling idiots. Episode 101 talking Christ about Corona. We Wash out. your hands. <laughs>